Boy, that's a wide open line. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, how do you know you're really in love? When the first bill from the florist comes. <laughs> well, I see we're in complete agreement on this particular question. Another one. Anyway, surely some of you have questions about relationships or cowboys. What should be discussed before marriage? Very good question. Ladies, what should be discussed before marriage? Money. <laughs> Gentlemen, what should be discussed before marriage? Kids. Well, they amount to kind of the same thing. Thank you. Anyway, another question. Yes. Ladies, now, what is your feeling about having a relationship with a cowboy? I know you've all seen Silverado at least six times. Spurs and sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, oh, <laughs> now, we have some uh, apprentice type <laughs> cowboys over here. How would uh, <clears throat> you feel about having a relationship with a cow person? <laughs> If she was bathed in light and really cute, maybe it would work. <laughs> what if he likes his horse better than he likes you? A very good question, one that often comes up, I'm sure. What if he likes his horse better than you? Don't see if he is really in love. Don't see if he's really in love. <laughs> yeah, I guess if there's that big a question about the horse, yeah, it's really kind of hard to see. Gentlemen, what if he, he or she prefers the horse? Tough. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. and Ms. Know-it-all. <laughs> Our next game tonight is emo, so we need some emotions. Lethargy. Lethargy, one of my personal favorites. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me do a little rat in here. Lethargy. The famous Indian saint, I remember him. <laughs> Rage. 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 Rapture. Rapture. Feel like a hernia? Amen. Fear. Happiness. Happiness. Indecision? Is that an emotion? Uh, Which, that's a statement. It's a, it's a, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. yeah, we'll go with indecision. We're going to try it, I think. Uh, OK. And here to emote? Yes, yes, but I wanted to introduce you, gentlemen. Stan and Gary are going to emote for us, but we need a location. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. A relationship? <laughs> Touch Mall India. It's Cowboys in India night. Ex-business partners. Former business partners. <laughs> Anything else? Who've been out on the range. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need ovens in India. <laughs> okay, we're ready to go. You want to start? And I'll kick it in. God, the real estate possibilities here are incredible. I'm just sorry we missed this opportunity. Oh, man, you put a little taco joint in there and a little chicken wing thing in there and Chinese in there, man. You could have people just lined up from here to New Delhi. Fear. But if you did that, they'd be eating cows. And if we had them eating cows, they may attack us. Well, yeah, they, they probably would. I, I didn't know they were hostile. I, I thought it worked out. Jeez. Mind your teeth. But. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the people around here. They're not going to get too riled up. They'd sit in line for hours. You wouldn't even have to have good service. You'd be like one person behind the counter and get like, help you, Saqib, and you know. <laughs> 50 minutes later, get one chicken right there. What all the difference? I think you're right. Oh, absolutely. Rage. How could you cheat me like this? How could you take the whole Taj Mahal and take it to America and pay me nothing? I got you with that. That's your half right there. The chicken wing concession, the, the Chinese right there. That's your half. What are you getting all upset at me for? You I don't want the water. I want the building. Oh, God. I left you half the bricks. Complain, complain, complain. What a whiner. Jeez. Who's that old man with the bill? Get away. 
away from there. Indecision. No, stay. <laughs> or go to leave the bell. Are you sure that's a bell? Oh, it's a snake. Keep the snake. I don't know. I think it's a string. Hey. Could be a rifle. Whoa. Sweet sound echoing off of the internal structure. Maybe we can make all the places vegetarian. <laughs> Hummingbirds and every rafter. <laughs> the sweet smell of cow dew burning in the late afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We could have a incense concession there. And kind of something. Rugs, silk. It'll be great. It'll be totally uplifting. I'm It'll be something so I've glad never done before. I'm so glad you're this is one. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's time for Park Bench with Patty and Paul and Wally and moi. We're going to have a conversation, but we need to know where we are and what we're talking about. Fairfield. I've heard of that place, but you know, something a little more familiar, maybe. Oregon. Calcutta. Calcutta, talking about Mahatma Gandhi. Italy. Mahatma Gandhi. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> and what is our relationship, by the way? Stranger. Strange tourists. <laughs> yes, we are in. Where did we decide? Calcutta? <laughs> Calcutta, yes. Oh, the view here is so wonderful. I have never seen such a large black hole. <laughs> It seems to grow on you. In fact, it seems to be coming a little bit too close. Yes, back off, back off. Now, you were telling me that you once met Mahatma Gandhi? Oh, surely you are not old enough to have met Mahatma Gandhi. Oh, but I meditate. And, and it was such a, an experience. Uh, just, the, the, just, just seeing him was like, like, uh, like, like, it was, it was, was it anything religious? like religious? Oh, I was going to say like a taco, but. Uh. Well, well, I've had that kind of experience with tacos also. Oh, yes, yes, if you come to the right place, a good taco can just be so, so celestial. I find, you know, in fact, a taco abianga is sometimes the best thing. First thing in the morning, you get up in bed, you rub the beans all over your body. Particularly if there's a lot of hot peppers. Oh, yes, it wakes you up immediately. That must be for kapha. Well, yes, uh, it rids you of kapha very quickly. But the beans, though, what do they do? I, I understand the hot sauce. Yes, so the hot sauce is very important. You rub this into the scalp, you have hot thoughts. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I can just picture it. Yes, yes. You must come with me to my little clinic. A little clinic in the Himalayas, and I will give you a taco, Abhyanga. Uh, did, did Mahatma Gandhi do these things, do you think? Oh, uh, well, it was not something he usually admitted in public. <laughs> For understandable reasons, you know, especially when sometimes he forgot to leave out the beef, you know. <laughs> there could have been trouble with his followers. Yes, yes. But come, we will lodge with my fleas in the hills. Uh, flee to my lodge in the hills. Okay, we survived that one. And we're going to play chameleons with Gary and Lisa. Now, Gary and Lisa are very flexible people. They can be anyone, anything, anywhere, anyhow. And in this game, they will start as whatever it is you want them to be. Chickens. Chickens, good. Oh, man, I didn't think about that. 
and they will end. Now, this could be anything. They could be people, they could be animals, they could be dandruff, they could be... Star Trek glasses. Aliens on Mars! They could be Star Trek glasses. Okay, they're going to start as chickens. And the Star Trek glasses. What are Star Trek glasses? Those are glasses that you get them at the, uh, at the fast food place. In ah, I thought maybe there was a thing. The Enterprise and the Nelson Bottom. Great. Fast food glasses. Star Trek glasses. Start as chickens. Starting as chickens and ending as. Thanks. In charge. This is our punishment for Nora. Chicken fight. <laughs> tell you what's really on their minds. <laughs> they even bought this camel yesterday from you, sir. Oh, he has one hump. And it smells bad, too. Well, ma'am, uh, that's a special one hump variety. <laughs> back home, back home where I come from, in, in Arabia, we have two humps. Two humps is better than one. <laughs> 
Well, rumor has it that uh, maybe that one will grow another hump later. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I ever think of putting a guarantee on these things? <laughs> well, well, hump grow. Show me, show me hump, please. And if you don't show me, may the fleas of a thousand camels grow under your armpits. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's a selective hump growing camel. You can uh, uh, pick where you want the hump to grow. <laughs> I think you American, you have. I swear to God, it was easier selling Buicks in New England. <laughs> I think you Americans, you Americans, you are trying to how you say, rip me off. And you're so clean, too. <laughs> no, actually, actually, uh, wherever you choose, I can make a little uh, hump grow on that one. <laughs> what if she's got other members of her family that are as gullible as she is? <laughs> well, well, if I come back tomorrow, you will show me where hump will go? A bad Because you find everything better and better to me. Well, yeah, uh, today, tomorrow, anytime, come back and we'll show you where that little lump is going to grow on that camera. <laughs> and I'd like to have that shirt and his pants. <laughs> well, uh, I'd be happy to sell you the shirt too, ma'am, uh, off my back, but uh, yeah. Well, come on back anytime. Sure, Kmart has more. <laughs> me? But I'd really rather have what's underneath the shirt. <laughs> well, ma'am, uh, I'd love to give you my shirt. Uh, yeah, uh, anytime. Uh, would you like to come with me to the dressing room? This is sweet. I shouldn't have to get a driver's license on the check. That's <laughs> <laughs> you take off clothes. Yes, I go. One lump or two. Been saving that one all night. Okay, we have a special treat for you this evening, ladies and gentlemen. I know you folks are always questioning for your knowledge. Oh, I need to tell you. No podium. We have a special lecturer this evening, a special lecturer on women's issues and feminist topics. She knows everything about women's issues and feminist topics. She has one small problem. She doesn't speak English. So Betsy is going to translate for her. So enjoy. Do you need, does she need a particular subject, do you think? Oh, you want to about it? Yes, she says she likes something about women, the woman's figure. Ah, oh, so something about physiology. Yes. She's ready. Enjoy. Uh, uh, More? Uh, I think we need a suggestion from the audience. Yes, yeah, some aspect of women's physiology. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She's a very specific lecturer, you understand. She's a specialist. Yeah, yeah. Are you doing derriere? Oh. A derriere. Yes, she is a specialist. <laughs> <laughs> As you all know, uh, dairy airs come in three sizes. Very little, medium, sort of boring, and extremely large. <laughs> it's usually the women who have the big muscles and the, the big chests as well that have the larger dairy airs. <laughs> Fancy 
him like mad and you want to go on a date with him. And then when he's getting all excited, bonk him on the nose. <laughs> See what we that. Okay, and that's all for tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> intermission time but before we let you out for your cookie break we want to get some suggestions for a day in the life so if anyone has had uh, an interesting experience a most embarrassing moment um, first day on the job first kiss anything you'd like to share with us yes last day on the job last kiss you know that in Fairfield everyone has had at least one last day on the job I had mine yesterday this week at least one last kiss last kiss on the job what honeymoon night oh let's hear it well tell us about it we're ready for that one his wife said don't you discover you're going to have honeymoon this has got to be your got to be your own personal story something that actually happened to you we want to hear about your honeymoon night on camera please I tell you what tell us about Wedding. No, no, that wasn't. Oh, the telephone. <laughs> I should hope not. <laughs> Second hand story. Second hand story. Okay, we'll get out the clock. It didn't actually happen to me, but it's pretty good. Is that okay? Sure. Who wants it? If it's good. Okay. Well, you guys vote afterwards. Yeah. Um, it was a friend, a, a friend of my sister. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, right. right.
So were you embarrassed, or was it weird, or was it just a bad lecture, and what did you think of it? Well, well, success in the face of it. It was a little embarrassing about all of the, you know, talking and everything, because it was really hard for me to kind of like talk to the viewers of people that were coming up. This is really good. Okay, now oh, I got one. This, this is A. No, this is A. This is B. I got C. Okay, you can vote. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is C. Okay, this actually happened. Catholic class, classic school class, the nun is doing the the frog deception. Okay, all the little school students around going, oh no, ick, oh yuck, 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 yuck. And the nun is going, hey, this is silly. You guys are being silly. You guys are being just ridiculous. This is totally every day. She's leaning over the thing. She's looking at it. She's kind of peering over her glasses a little bit, cutting it open, looking in. They're all looking like this. Oh yuck, yuck. I can't believe she's doing it. She's looking in, and the heart pops in her mouth. <laughs> She turns like this, <laughs> spits it out, all the girls scream, run out of the room. And after that, for six months, whenever these girls saw this lady, they walk by and they go like this. <laughs> Behind her back. Okay, A, B, or C. How many want A? Oh, six people. No, man. How many come, come, somebody? Okay. Hands up for A. How many want B? B? Four, One, two, five, three, four, five. 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 How many of the Catholic school girls? C. All right. All right. There's a thought. Lecture. Catholic 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 we'll be back. You have a cookie. Get out there. Stimulate the economy. And now, number three, that's like school incident.
stop and go. And for this game, we will need Lisa and Paul and Patty and Stan. Now, this is the uh, viewer-friendly game in which uh, you will help us tell the story of what these people do. We'll start the story, we'll stop it occasionally, and you can tell us what's going to happen next. But first of all, we need a location, relationships, and activity for these four people. Standing in front of the fortune telling machine in Big. The what? The one in the movie Big. Are we in the movie Big? Or are we just in front of Just that fortune telling machine. That fortune telling machine. <laughs> okay. Okay, and what is their relationship? <laughs> They're a gang. Okay. Uh, that thing doesn't work. What is this thing? Oh, it's supposed to tell your fortune. <laughs> hey, 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 wake up, Grandma. <laughs> wake up. Hey, move. Oh. Oh. Freeze. What's happening to the fortune telling machine? They're getting big. <laughs> They're getting big. <laughs> Whoa. priority. He's been out of work for a few months, and uh, he needs the job, basically. He needs work. So please welcome our interviewer, Lolly O'Nash, and her interviewee.
Servicemen come in with me? Well, of course, they can just stand aside. Please, sir. What so, happens? Um, quite, quite a recommendation you have here. It's quite a list of uh, quite a list of work you've done too. Really very wow. Yes, I'm very proud of the contribution I've made to the greatness of this fishing work. <laughs> okay, so now you're looking for a new position. Yes, yeah, something where I can ride horses and talk to lots of people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, are, th are there some things that you are really wishing to stay away from? Um, I ran. <laughs> no traveling. No traveling, no. <laughs> Anything else? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> you know, I am a little concerned about, um, if, now, your birth date here. You know, your age, uh, you know it's very difficult so, to find a job for a man your age. I mean, surely there must be some physical limitations of some sort that we have to be aware of. Oh, no, I'm, I'm fine. I... I walk horses regularly and sit by the pool and touch the water. I do all kinds of things. Uh, no. Fine. Okay. Well, now, what salary range are we looking at here? No. I don't know. What's the gross national debt now? <laughs> um, I I don't know. I I thought you probably know that more than me. Well. Grew a little bit since last year. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, now, I guess I have to ask you some questions. Like, for example, if you were in a situation, sir, uh, yeah. if you were in a situation where you had to work with a group of people versus working alone, what, what would you prefer? Oh, I've done that, yes. And, and I think that there's probably a problem that's not really a problem when you think about it in the terms that have been applied in the past before there were things like that you have to worry about and think about. Um, do you see yourself more as a follower or a leader? No, not the, in the morning in the mirror, kind of a follower. Late at night uh, when I'm with Nancy, kind of a leader. <laughs> living in? Um, well, knowing what I know about the placement of the nuclear reactors and all the <laughs> special built missiles for the destruction of some new country now that Russia is no longer an enemy, probably South America. <laughs> yes, yes. And horses, right? Must oh, yes, horses. absolutely. Horses. Okay. I love horses. Now, now, now uh, can you... Uh, do you think Little you could... Doggy. Uh, do, you think, do you think you could give me some references that we may be able, you know, just Oh, to yes, out? absolutely. Uh, Omar. Sharif. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Uh, yes, and, uh, well, I'm not sure how good a recommendation, but, but Ali would probably say something about me. And uh, let's see. Uh, Sir Poindexter. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And, um, this would be fine. All right. Um, Frank Sinatra. Now I know you'll. Have to. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> we get nothing but the best here. Our next game is continuation with Gary and Lisa, and Betsy, and Paul, and Molly, and Sam. And we're going to start, let's see, with, yeah, Gary and Lisa. Okay, we need a place and an activity, relationship for these two people. Pardon? Sorry. 
Himalayas. Oh, Himalayas. Himalayas. Something like bricklayers. <laughs> okay, they're in the Himalayas. What are they doing there? Bricklayers. They're bricklayers in the Himalayas. <laughs> of course. And uh, any other relationship? Are they co workers or? Lovers. Lovers. <laughs> uh, blood brother bricklayers. Yes? Blood brother and sister. Oh, yes. Blood brother and sister bricklayers in the Himalayas. <laughs> And finally, the bank accounts of the citizens, which depended on the cattle. They did have one heck of a barbecue, however. <laughs> the Geek Sculpt Community Action Cattle Association, or Gigu Kaka, <laughs> as they were sometimes known, were desperate. A new kind of cattle was needed, the kind that could survive the harsh conditions. Word had reached them that such a breed did exist, the Brahma bulls of India. The people of Geek's Gulch knew there were only two men among them with the courage, the resourcefulness, and the sheer grit necessary for such a demanding and hazardous mission. Those two, however, were not interested. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the assignment was instead given to the two men unanimously considered to be completely expendable. <laughs> the Dud brothers, Polk and Gabby. <laughs> Polk and Gabby Dudd set off with no money and fewer brains, <laughs> believing India to be the capital city of Indiana. <laughs> but through sheer dumb luck, the only kind with which they were familiar, they found themselves in a small village on the outskirts of Rishikesh. Well, Dudd, 
Last soul, last seat. Last seat, it's everyone drinks. God, where where have we been, you know? Yeah, yeah. Guys, it's what chill is out. <laughs> what goes in it? Well, it's the usual rose water and, you know, rose yogurt. Rose water? Yogurt. <laughs> rose yogurt. water? Yogurt. 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 What do you do? How do you squeeze the, the rose? <laughs> you pull at me! Everybody, that'll fix it. You guys up. just relax. <laughs> Boy, they are different. Seem to work pretty well. <laughs> okay, wake up again. What am I doing down here? Go down, man. <laughs> Fuck those lassies. Lassies. Whatever. Better drink one of those. Try it. Sounds good. That is a weird. <laughs> Smells sweet. Drink up. Oh, I can't, I can't stop drinking this. But in the back of one of the minds of their so-called friends was the desire for these rare cattle they had brought back. Did you see those cattle they got out back? <laughs> well, I guess we'll be putting the cattle in there out there in the. Okay, corral there. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> You're that okay, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Let's get them on. Roll them over. Come on, big things, big humpy things. Those masks on, they won't know who we are. Come on, hey, hey. Whoa. Come like on, that. bumpy. <laughs> How come these cattle got both on? I don't know. I think we got a defective one. <laughs> this isn't some of them camels left over from the other shit, is it? <laughs> Maybe. You only got one bump. Come on. Come on. Little big doggy. <laughs> all right, you bar. Let's hold it. Man. All right, all right. Hold it. We are holding it. <laughs> you know, this kind of stuff goes on. Makes me wish I wasn't even here. <laughs> Where the hell are they going? What was that? Hey! Hey! It was just that! Hey! What was in those drinks? Follow them foot track check with them. Must have backed up. Now, where were we? Oh. So here we go. the Dud Brothers' influence, the citizens of Geek's Gulch quickly realized that there is unity in diversity and that all is one. The effect of so many enlightened souls in one place attracted more and more people to Geek's Gulch, and they too began to experience everything in terms of oneness. Soon, the experience of oneness had spread to every state and territory on this side of the Mississippi River. And that, boys and girls, is really how the West was. One. <laughs> Taking a couple weeks off because there's only going to be three of us here. And uh, then we'll be back in three weeks. Missing two Fridays. We'll be back. Thanks for coming.